After centuries of royal habitation, you just know that Versailles has baggage. The history of the place is relatively well known. It started as a pretty frumpy hunting lodge. Do history books really tell it all? Let's explore some of the most scandalous and strange secrets that the Palace of Versailles has hidden in its halls. The French were big on extravagance, beauty and showing off, but do you know what they weren't big on? Hygiene. The Palace of Versailles, with its amazing beauty, mirrored walls and shiny marble floors, always smelled horrible. There were several reasons behind it. To begin with, the palace lacked bathrooms. This caused people to pass excrements in chamber pots in different areas of the palace. As mentioned before, the Versailles Palace had over 5,000 people living in it. Just imagine stepping into feces as you walk the halls of the beautiful palace. Only members of the royal family used a cupboard in their rooms that used to have a chair along with a silver chamber pot with a hole underneath them, a type of mini toilet installment. The staff periodically changed them. Also, bathing was not something the French did on the regular. They would bathe after a significant period of time because they believed water contained all sorts of diseases, and such diseases could enter their bodies through their skin pores. As they were scared of dying, the French preferred to remain a little too unhygienic. Three magnificent libraries graced the Palace of Versailles. Louis XVI had his own library which is named after him. Louis XVI loved this library, mainly because it was on the same floor as his own apartment. When your pad is that big, I guess you do have to worry about stuff like that. The Queen's Library, named after Marie Antoinette, had remained nearly exactly as it was when it was given to Marie Antoinette in 1781. Finally, there's the Madame Victoire Library. Madame Victoire is one of Louis XV's eight daughters. Even though she was never married, she was called Madame instead of Mademoiselle, because that's just what you're called when you're the daughter of a king. Though Madame Victoire sadly died of breast cancer in 1799, her final years at Versailles were spent in a super-luxurious six-room lodging in the palace, including this beautiful library. So now you know about these libraries, but the surprising fact is that they are useless. Their shelves are not filled with real books. In the 1970s, the manuscripts about the history and functionality of the chateau were moved to the National Archives in Paris. All the books you see in these libraries are fake. There's only one exception, and it's a big one. Manière de montrer le jardin de Versailles. Its instructions on how to visit the gardens of Versailles, which path and order, and it's written in Louis XVI's own hand. Marie Antoinette used to get tired of the palace life and routine quite often and required a little getaway now and then. As astonishing as it sounds, she had her own little village installed near the place in 1783. It was about two kilometres away from Versailles. It was built with care, laboured piece by piece and looked so much like an actual classic French farm. It later on was called the Queen's Hamlet and allowed Marie Antoinette to escape the fast pace and monotony of palace life. Marie Antoinette would go on to this little installation of hers, take long walks as well as sometimes later throw galas there, however only her innermost circle was invited to these galas. Unlike the rest of the palace, the village was not open to the public. People were not to step in there without the Queen's permission, and those who did never left. If you have wandered the grounds of Versailles significantly further out than the ornate garden groves, You've seen the vast woodlands surrounding the palace. Those woods were the perfect office for local prostitutes in Louis XIV's time. And not even just local, the wealth at the king's court attracted those from all over. Louis XIV was not a huge fan. It was a right for him to have mistresses, of course, and sexual promiscuity was not new or even necessarily looked down upon. However, he drew the line at prostitution getting in the way of his palace being built. Workers were constantly getting diseases and slowing construction, which was a tipping point for Sun King. First, he outlawed prostitution. Well, that didn't really work. Things continued on like before. So then Louis XIV decided to go big or go home. He made a law saying that if caught, prostitutes would be whipped in a public place and their clients would have their noses and ears cut off. In August 1901, two Englishwomen named Miss Mobley and Miss Trudan 
visited the Palace of Versailles and their experience was quite supernatural. It said that on their way to see the Trianon, both the women started experiencing distress and feeling heavy. Right after this, they saw an alarming image of a man, and following that, they saw a woman wearing a very old-fashioned dress, a hat, and also a drawing. Both women left the palace feeling frantic and published a book about their experiences in later years. This revealed that it wasn't only them who had seen these ghosts, but some other people had similar experiences too. We all know that the French did not stray away from extramarital affairs as it was quite common for a king to have multiple mistresses. Back then it was not considered cheating, but it was more of a norm. So naturally all the king's mistresses were allowed into the palace of Versailles. This all changed when King Louis XVI took over the throne. The king was against the idea of extramarital affairs and made it clear to everyone around him. And to send a statement and set a precedent, he had a blue metal grill gate made to close the stairway that mistresses and the previous kings had used. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. Did you know about these shocking secrets about Versailles? Get involved and let us know in the comments section down below what you think about today's video. If you liked this video and found it informative, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos like these, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.